Hi, I'm Dr. Diane Cleverly, personal health care information. Welcome to this episode of Silent Killers. This week we're going to talk about heart attacks. If you've been following along on Google Plus, you know that my pop had a heart attack this week, but it was a silent heart attack, which is a heart attack that doesn't have any real chest pain or any symptoms, and it could go undiagnosed. This is actually pretty common, 40% to 60% of all heart attacks could be unrecognized and that's a really scary thought because these unrecognized or silent heart attacks could portend future fatal heart attacks of a much bigger nature. These heart attacks that are silent can occur in people who don't have symptoms of heart pain. That's actually why they become undiagnosed. So you don't have previous episodes of angina and some people don't even have risk factors. So they're not overweight. They don't have high cholesterol. And the symptoms can be very vague. They're nausea, sweating, they can be vomiting, dizziness, and maybe a chest sensation, like a pressure but not really a pain. So if someone you know, a loved one, is complaining about those kinds of symptoms and you suspect if they're elderly or they have some other heart problem that they may be having a heart attack, it's always worth it to get it checked out. Please also asked me in the post to talk about symptoms that women are more likely to have during a heart attack compared to men. So a big meta-analysis looked at that very question. And they found that women are much more likely to report things like nausea, fatigue, dizziness, jaw pain, right arm pain, neck pain, and fatigue than men were. And they're actually less likely to report chest pain. We were also talking about other demographic groups during the post. Speaking of other demographic groups, when I was doing my research, I found out something really, really upsetting. I know that a lot of the people that follow me on Google Plus and also on YouTube are in Asia. A lot of them are Asian Indians and of the Asian population, some people in Malaysia. I found out something really upsetting. People of the Asian Indian descent have an altered gene for lipoprotein A. Unfortunately, this gene is a risk factor for cardiovascular disease, and this type of cardiovascular disease can strike really early. More than half of the heart attacks and the cardiovascular disease in this population occur under the age of 50, and 10% of those heart attacks occur under the age of 40. So it's really striking the Asian Indian population quite young and in the prime of their working life. So it's causing a lot of disability and it's cutting into the economy. And very unfortunately, because it's a genetic trait, it's not modifiable due to diet and exercise and lifestyle. Women needs to pay extra special attention to those silent symptoms, the nausea, the sweating, those things you don't think of as chest pain, especially if they haven't been having the chest pain. And also, you have to remember, it doesn't mean you have to be living in India. This occurs all across the borders. It could be someone living in the UK or someone living in the US. Even those Asian Indians living in the US have a three to four time greater risk of cardiovascular disease. If you've had a first heart attack, you are at risk for a second heart attack. But you might expect that your second heart attack is gonna feel just like your first heart attack. That's not necessarily true there are going to be differences between the first heart attack and the second heart attack. For example, nearly half of this patient population reported difference in symptoms of shortness of breath between their first heart attack and their second heart attack. Women in particular were more likely to experience a difference in their first heart attack and their second heart attack between shoulder pain, jaw pain, and nausea. And patients with diabetes were more likely to report a difference in chest symptoms. In fact, the sad part is that patients with mismatched symptoms, because they expect the heart attack symptoms to be the same, are more likely to die. 
The very last special population I want to touch on are athletes. There is something called sudden cardiac death that does occur in athletes. You've probably heard about it every now and then, that really fit athlete that just drops dead on the playing field. It's due to something called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. It's a rare genetic disease. It's really hard to detect, particularly in young people. And there's usually a very low index of suspicion because it is very rare. But something that you can alert to it are um, a family history of any sudden cardiac death. If there is something like that in the family, you might want to look into it a little bit further and ask your doctor if your young athlete should be screened. I hope that this video was helpful and answered some of your questions that I found when I was doing research for my own family and looking into things for my pop. Remember, you deserve to be healthy and well treated. Take care. I'll see you next time. Thank you for listening. And for more information, please visit us on the web at personalhealthinfo.weebly.com.